podcast. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Health Champion Quarterly 3 meeting. This is via webinar for those of you who could not make it to the live event. Uh, my name is Kelly Shinami, and I have with me uh, Jan McGarvey, and we're going to go through all the topics that you need to know uh, during the next few months. Our agenda today, um, we have the super show that we had over the summer. We have some walk the talk updates, best practices, and of course, upcoming events. Hey, we have some new creation health employees we wanted you to know about. We have a new creation health consultant at Winter Park, Bryce Connor, and Gabby is new in our education department. So if you see them around, make sure you give them a warm welcome. We are happy to have them. Next, we have our new paid time policy. I know you've gotten an email on this, but just to reiterate, this is exciting news. We um, have now had it approved to pay health champions when they attend orientation, the quarterly meetings, and the Christmas celebration. And um, so this is an exciting time. Um, so you will, when you attend those events, you will clock into our clock, um, time, our cost center. So make sure that you are clocking into our call center during these um, these events. And we'll help you do that once you show up. So don't worry about knowing ahead of time. We'll, we'll help you through that. We want to make sure you're getting paid. <laughs> In July, we had this super show, and we had some of your fellow health champions come and to the Florida Hospital Orlando campus and show some of their best practices. Um, the next slide will show you some of the ideas that were sh shared. And um, our winner was Jethro and the Orlando Rehab Department. He had his board looking like a Facebook page, showing some of the highlights that they have done this year with a lot of fun pictures. And his team was rewarded with chair massages for everyone. So make sure that you start thinking about participating next year because um, there's awesome prizes for those who are the top winner. So. And we like to share those best practices with, with other health champions too. Um, when you have something great, oftentimes people want to steal your idea. So it's, it's a nice way for us to, to share your accomplishments and, and best practices. All right, Walk the Talk. I hope by now most of you guys know that Walk the Talk is back and it's on a brand new platform. Um, if you had been on the platform previously, we used to have a partnership with ShapeUp. We now have a new partnership with Virgin Pulse, so it's a brand new website for you. Um, so what does that mean for you? Um, you will have a new username and password, so you don't have to remember that old username and password with ShapeUp. You'll be creating a new one with your email address. It's easier to navigate, there's more device integration, so if you have an iPhone or a Samsung, you can now directly link the app to your phones and get your steps to transfer over. And there's a really awesome mobile app, it's called Virgin Pulse. It's actually what I use, I barely use the desktop version anymore, it's very easy to navigate and you can do everything including register on the mobile app. We will have uh, four week company wide challenges. So I'll go over the one that's going on right now in a second. But these are team challenges that will have campus or system wide. Uh, but you can also do other little challenges on yourself, personal challenges or healthy habit challenges that you can earn chances to win for completing those tasks. And every quarter we will pull 100 names out of uh, this bucket of, rap of entries and they will win some kind of awesome prize. So our first drawing will be sometime in October and we'll have 100 people win $25 gift cards. So make sure you get registered onto the new website. The four week challenge that is going on right now is the Walk the Wonders Challenge. It started on August 21st and it goes until September 17th. There is actually no deadline for registration. So if you have not registered yet, it is not too late to get your information on there and get joined into the challenge. If you track for 20 days during this challenge, you will earn 10 incentive points toward your wellness incentive. So make sure your teams know this, let them get um, another chance to get some points. It's a lot of fun and the new website is just awesome. So be sure to take a look at it. Um, a little bit different from last time, it's teams of 10, not teams of 11. Um, you can input those steps through a device manually or the conversion tool. 
Again, you must track for 20 days to get your 10 points for the wellness incentive. The last day to track is September 19th. So that's two days after the challenge ends. You have two days to get those all your activity in for during the challenge, which you can retroactively track. Uh, we'll also give um, pretty cool prizes for the top 10 teams. And then the top three teams and the top three individuals will win more entries for those raffles that we'll do in October. As a health champion, um, we are always looking for things that we can do to engage and promote um, creation health. And so I wanted to make sure that when we came to this meeting that you went home with some ideas. So what we did is we assigned different letters of creation to your fellow health champions to come up with ideas or activities or a challenge on how to incorporate that letter. So the next few slides are some of the ideas that they came up with. Feel free to pause this webinar to take a deeper look on what some of the ideas that they came up with. So we have some people that did choice, um, some that focus on outlook, some really fun activities. We had environment and rest. Again, please, if you see anything that you like, feel free to take these ideas. They're meant for you to kind of piggyback off of. And again, interpersonal relationships and another outlook. So these are all good ideas that they came up with. And we hope that you are able to take something away from these um, back to your department. What would you do with $250? We really would like for you to go back to your department and make sure that you check around and ask people if they have their um, all of their points. Um, ask them if they've seen the fireworks and the word hooray. Um, because we want to make sure that everybody gets their points. So if there is any questions, the phone number that's on the screen, you can call them to reset passwords or also to get health coaching. Health champions, the biometrics, um, you guys are at 76.5%, but you see that there's a gap with the health assessment. So we're finding that a lot of people haven't taken their health assessment and then therefore will not get the um, wellness incentive um, $150 or $250. So make sure that you've completed it, you've hit su submit, and that you have completed everything you need to to get your wellness incentive. Another thing that another goal that we set was that 100% of our health champions would have participated in Chi. And um, right now we're at 53%. This is one of the prerequisites to getting your polo. So you need to do um, orientation and chi. If you have done both, please make sure you see me, Jana, and um, I can get you your polo. We have two things that are coming up um, pretty quickly. And we have another health champion orientation on October 26th. And you will just keep on an eye out for the invitation on that. I'll be sending out an invite. If you have not participated in orientation or you know of somebody who would like to be a health champion, please let them know of this date. Also, we will be having a health champion social, um, which is going to be a service project coming up um, at the end of this month, September. All right. Well, thanks for joining us and um, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye.